Hello everyone, today we are going to see encoding. Encoding is the process of converting the state of data from one form to another. Encoding ensures secure transmission. Today we are going to discuss three encoding techniques, binary encoding, Manchester encoding and differential Manchester encoding. So let us first see binary encoding. So there are some rules you must follow while uh, encoding your data in this form. So first of all, you have to allocate a clock tick for each and every bit. Uh, clock tick is nothing but a specific amount of time period. Now for uh, one, that is if you encounter a bit one, then voltage signal is in high state. And if you encounter a bit zero, then voltage signal is in low state. Okay. Now let us understand this with the help of an example. So there is this question. Sketch the binary encoding pattern for the following bit pattern 100100. Right. So, first of all, this is our time. Okay. Next, we need to allocate a clock tick for every bit, right? So, this is one clock tick. Right now, one zero zero one zero zero. Now, what we have to do next for one voltage signal will be high, so this is my one for zero voltage signal will be low, so this is zero again for zero. This for one, this for zero, this for zero. This. So my answer will be this signal okay see here for one bit i have one signal that is to represent any one bit i will have to use only one signal that is for one i have high and for zero i have low so if we use only one voltage signal to represent a digital bit per clock tick then it is called as unipolar encoding now here bit rate is equal to one what is bit rate bit rate is the number of bits transferred per unit time and baud rate is also one uh, and what is baud rate baud rate is the number of signals transferred per unit time so here's uh, for one bit there is one signal therefore bit rate is one then baud rate is also one in this case so we can say that in binary encoding system bit rate is equal to baud rate that is bit rate equals to baud rate okay Now let us see Manchester encoding. In Manchester encoding also we need to allocate a clock tick for every bit and further subdivide the clock tick into two parts. In this example we will see how we can do this and uh, also if your uh, encountered bit is 1 then the first half of the clock tick starts with high and the second half of the clock tick ends with low. If the encounter bit is 0, then the first half of the clock tick starts with low and the uh, second half of the clock tick ends with high. Now let's solve this example for better understanding. So first of all what we need to do is, we need to allocate a clock tick to every bit. So one one zero zero one one. Okay. Now and further subdivide the clock tick into two parts. Now these clock ticks will be further subdivided. So let us subdivide this clock tick into two parts. Right. Next is a first half of the clock tick. If 1 then first half of the clock tick is high and if uh, 0 then uh, first half is low. So uh, first we have 1, no? our first bit is 1. So our first half of this 
clock tick will be high and the second half will be low right again we have one so first half will be high and second half will be low next we have zero so for zero first half will be low and second half will be high again we encountered zero for this also first half will be low second half will be high again for one first half will be high second half will be zero high and low so this is our resulting signal okay so this is how we encode using manchester encoding system see here for one bit we have both low and high signal right so two voltage signals are used to represent one bit that is why uh, we can call this type of encoding as bipolar encoding technique so here bit for one bit rate is equal to 1 baud rate is equal to 2 right therefore we can say that therefore we can say that bit rate is equal to half of baud rate or baud rate is equal to twice of bit rate okay differential manchester encoding we need to allocate a clock tick for every bit and then further subdivide the clock tick into two parts then for one there is no transition but for zero we will have a transition by transition i mean if uh, your signal is low then if there then when there is a transition then your signal will become high and if it is high then it will become low okay now let's understand this with the help of an example so here is this question sketch the differential manchester encoding pattern for the following bit pattern one double zero double one zero so first of all this is time next I need to allocate a clock tick then further subdivide this clock tick into two parts okay next for one there is no transition so this is one one will remain same as in manchester for zero there will be a transition so next uh, next bit is zero so what will happen from this low state will go to a high state this is transition again we encountered zero no so from this low state will go to high state okay next we encountered a one so for one there is no transition so this signal will remain same again there is one so this signal will remain same next we have zero so there will be transition right so our resulting signal is this here also bit rate is equal to 1 and baud rate is equal to 2 so differential manchester encoding also comes under bipolar encoding system and here also since bit rate for one bit rate for one bit we can have two signals so uh, we can say that bit rate is equal to uh, uh, our bit rate is equal to half of baud rate or baud rate is equal to twice of bit rate now let us solve some more questions see question number four encode the following bit pattern into manchester encoding and differential manchester encoding okay so i'm going to do this in one graph only
now for one in manchester this is for manchester and this is for differential manchester in manchester encoding for one we have high low for zero low high for one again high low zero is low high low high again low high for one it is high low high low high so our resulting signal is this right for differential manchester first bit is one so there will be no transition this is one next is zero so we'll have a transition again one so it will remain same next zero so there will be a transition again zero there will be a transition For one there will be no transition so this is the required signal for differential manchester encoding Now let's see question number five. We need to encode zero one zero zero one in Manchester and differential Manchester encoding. So first of all, in Manchester, for zero, then one, then zero, then zero, so. Our Final signal is this. Okay. In differential register also, the first bit will remain same. Then for one there will be no transition. For zero there will be a transition. Again zero. Then one, again one. Okay. So final signal will be this. So this was for Manchester and this was for differential Manchester encoding. It is said that practice leads to perfection. So try to solve the practice questions given at the end of this video. Also hit the subscribe button and then press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And do not forget to share your exam buddy videos with your best buddies. Comment below your doubts and tell me which topics you want me to discuss next. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Bye bye. All right, all right, all right. Da 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 da